peace love and light guys what's going on it's your girl crystal the raw spiritual guru coming through with another pick a card today first and foremost if this is your first time joining me welcome to the ic my name is crystal and i am the raw spiritual guru guys so uh, please take a minute to subscribe to this channel and also if this read and resonate to you please make sure you like and share as well right so um, I am also a metaphysical shop owner. So all these items you see right here are for sale on my store. So check that out as well. Okay, so this reading is, what is your next sexual counter going to be like? So we have three piles and then I'm going to pull some letters as well to see who, you know, get some initials possibly, maybe sell something out. But we're going to get started with the reading, right? So we have pile number one, the 12 point clear quartz crown. Pile number two, the, the uh, pyrite pendant. And pile number three, the soda light ring, right? So pile number one, clear quartz. Pile number two, pyrite. Pile number three, soda light. So take a minute to meditate on the pile that you would like to choose. But we are going to get started with pile number one. So pile number one, what will your next encounter be like? Pile number one, what will your next encounter be like? And I'm going to pull some tarot as well for some clarifiers. Okay, pile number one, you a little freaky freaky. Well, y'all, whoever you're going to be messing with could be a little freaky freaky. All right, so pile number one, clear quartz. Um, it looks as though it says under the stars, S and M, foreplay, 50 shades of gray, it's hard to trust you, chemistry, toxic, time to th take things to the next level. Okay, so I'm getting some mixed energies, power number one. So, first of all, your next sexual encounter is a possibility that it could be somebody that you already know, that you already have been dating, that you guys already have some type of chemistry built upon you, too. It could be a possibility. Um, I don't, I'm not really show new, I'm not really showing new people person vibes per se i'm more so showing like someone that you already know or someone that you might been dealing with and it could be more newer but i'm not showing that you're going to be meeting a new person so it looks as though that it could be someone that you possibly might have some type of toxic relationship with or this person can be a bit toxic right or they could be seen as toxic maybe this person is a real live freak like when i say a little real live freak you got 50 shades of gray and s and m here okay so like you got someone that's very dominant that might be very aggressive in the bedroom that might really like to try all type of things out of the box things not someone that's really um prone to make love even though you have under the stars it could mean either they like to have sex outdoors so they like to be a little bit more risque or they might want to you know lay up under the stars with you since we do have time to take things to the next level right so it looks as though it definitely is someone that you could be dealing with currently or you might have dealt with in the past that might be resurfacing but it's technically someone you definitely know that you already had an encounter with in the past so that's what i'm showing heavy um it's someone that you do truly have chemistry with this person might really like foreplay whether they like to give foreplay or like to receive foreplay they really are into you know foreplay so this person likes to um warm the engine up before they drive you dig <laughs> but they like to literally like they like to be more hands-on with you they are into s and m as well so they might like to play dress up a lot they might like to be dominant or be the dominant they might like i'm just getting like um <laughs> you know um the little furry fetishes where people like dress up in like animals like 
I just got that. That might be for a selective few, okay? And that might be somebody deep, dark secret, okay? But they like to have a lot of out-of-the-box sexual experiences. This person is a true love freak. They do have a little... They do have a little romantic side with the under the stars here, but they also feel like it might be hard to trust you, right? So that's why I said it could be some type of toxic relationship. Maybe it could have been an on and off thing. Maybe it could be something with, um, maybe it could be something with, you know, you guys possibly have been in a relationship and this person may have did something, you know, to you. Or you might have did something to this person where it made like trust questionable, you know, but all in all, even though they feel like it's hard to trust you, they want to take things to the next level. Um, <clears throat> but it's up to you if you want to be on this bad romance or not, because I do show toxic being here. So if you truly want to be in a connection that's toxic, um, just know what comes with that, right? Because I'm sure. You know, sometimes the most toxic people can have the best sex, <laughs> but is it really worth it at the end of the day? Like when you do have encounters with people, remember you are taking on that person's energy, right? So just be more mindful of that. All right, so we're going to pull some of the tarot to see if we're going to get some more messages. All right, spirit, please send some additional messages for power number one. Their next sexual encounter, power number one, sex encounter, please. Power number one, next encounter. Um, all right, you got the nine of pentacles. So someone can be very obsessive with your hair. Someone, um, someone can be very obsessive with your hair. Be careful though, because someone might be, um, if you have hair, if you have hair, right? Oh, that was too many, my bad, y'all. Um, with this card in general, it looks as though like the guy is cutting this person's hair, but they kind of are aware of it, like they're in bliss, or they probably don't know. They just, I don't know. The guy's on top of them, and he's cutting their hair. So you could be a woman or a man, but someone is obsessed with your hair. I'm showing that they're really obsessed with your hair. They might be obsessed with your chest as well. They might like you to just be shirtless, man or woman. It's like, they just like to look at you. It's like, I'm feeling a, an obsessive nature. Yeah, they definitely are into your chest, right? You, all these pictures, the girl got her chest out. The girl got her chest out. The girl got her chest out, basically. All right, so you got the three of cups as well as the stars. So... I'm showing, it's telling a story, like this person is, Nine of Pentacles is usually the single and fruitful card, you're almost at your Ten of Pentacles, you got everything but the love of your life, the Three of Cups is celebration, and then the Stars is basically joyous celebration, good time, right, so there we go, under the stars, look how in sync it is, y'all, <laughs> under the stars, and it's literally under the stars, right, so this person definitely have some type of outside outdoor fetish when it comes to having sex so they might really like to be under the stars with you okay so i'm showing that this person definitely wants some type of commitment with you um you guys definitely might be in a single energy right now and you probably aren't officially together with this person but that don't necessarily mean that they don't want a commitment with you right it just looks as though that you guys haven't defined the nature of your relationship and like I said, it's definitely someone you know or you have been dealing with already. So um, this person probably want to take it to another level. If this person, I'm just getting magic, y'all. If this person ever asks you for a lock of your hair, they could possibly do some type of magic with it, okay? And you see how the heart is right here under the girls, like she's under his spell, kind of. So just be cautious about that. And then it's like the tables have turned where she have him under her spell. And here we go with the foreplay. Somebody probably like to um, either have like hot wax poured on them or they probably like to have like liquids pulled on them or, you know, 
body liquids pulled on them okay but this person like is like they like to be one with nature as well it's like like under the stars okay they like they romanticize being under the stars with you and being outside we got a lot of nature going on this is behind closed doors but we got like a lot of nature going on or whatever some of the signs that i'm getting is aquarius earth signs as well as water signs but it looks as though with this card it's like this person just like to to enjoy and please it's like i'm showing a lot of pleasure within your next sexual encounter okay like you guys are going to have like a, a good chemistry it's like it might be a bit toxic or whatever and if that's the case maybe you guys need to talk about that but this person definitely want more with you like they just enjoy you in general they enjoy y'all y'all a connection they enjoy y'all encounters they like to basically romanticize about you and they want to be more with you okay so we want to pull some letters so this might get a little loud so you might want to turn the volume down okay give me some letters for this first person call number one letters for call number one please All right, I just wanted to see if y'all could see it. See there, it spells C, y'all, under the stars, and they at C. Ain't that crazy? All right, so we have C A L Q S E A. So that could be somebody initials if you wanted to really take. A further look to see if this spell more things than that then um you can but it's c-a-l-q-s-e-a -E all right okay so for pile number one that was your message so thank you guys for tuning in and if it resonates please make sure you like share and subscribe okay so pile number three, I'm sorry, pile number two, the person that chose this pyrite pendant, okay, made with copper. So it's available at the store too, guys. This is going to be your reading. Okay. So power number two, you, this is definitely someone that you, you are currently dealing with or you might have just started dealing with, but I'm definitely showing that someone, um, okay, this could also be, this could be a past energy that you may have dealt with or this person, maybe this is somebody you may have rejected as well, but, um, so, I'm going to just say, I got role play, crazy in love, all night long, what's your fantasy, I secretly want to get you pregnant, I am hurting, I can't stop thinking of you, everything is all right, trust, believe what you feel. Okay, so this could definitely be someone that you are, you're dealing with, may have rejected and probably want another chance. This could be someone that also have a crush on you that you might not even know anything about. It's like this person might fantasize about you a lot. And like when I say they got a crush, they got like a super crush. Like they got strong feelings for you. They got strong feelings for you. Maybe you even probably went on one date with this person. Maybe it could have been someone that you might have a one night stand with as well. So this could definitely be someone that you might have a one night stand with. And maybe you like this after the sexual encounter or whatever. But this person is definitely into role play, right? They want to complete all of your fantasies. When they ask you what's your fantasies, they truly want to know. They want to be a part of all of your fantasies. They want to make sure they come to fulfillment. This person can go all night long. This person is a person that 
can go back to back, round to round, session to session. So it's like this person have a high stamina when it comes to encounters. Um, they definitely want to play and they want to play all night long. It says crazy in love, right? And I secretly want to get you pregnant. So it's like this person is so crazy in love with you that they either want to get pregnant by you or secretly get you pregnant. It's like every time they think about having an encounter with you, they think about you guys conceiving and making a baby. Okay, so be cautious of that if you know who I'm talking about or if this is resonating to you, please make sure you use protection if you're not ready to be a parent, okay? Um, also, it just looks as though that this person, um, it looks as though that this person also can't stop thinking about you, like you're on their mind and like... It's like they're doubting their feelings for you because, like I said, they said that they're hurting. So they might have have they might have had some type of, um, you guys probably met, had some type of misunderstanding. Maybe it was a one-time thing. Maybe you did ghost this person or just had the one-time thing with them and they wanted more maybe after your encounter. So after your next, sex, with your next sexual encounter, I'm showing like, um, it's a possibility that, um, this person might be more into you than you are into them. But it's like they're trying to tell themselves that, you know, everything is okay. I'm going to just believe what I feel and just trust this process. Like, you know, but, you know, maybe it's just like no communication at this moment or after you guys have your encounter. Um... So like, I'm getting just a couple stories. That could be one story or it could be someone that you are dealing with that just can't stop thinking about you. But they are they are hurting probably because they want more from this connection than you want. So they're trying to have faith that everything will play out in due time and that, you know, you guys will be able to really connect like they want to connect with you. Like you're always on their mind, but it's like, they're in a sense they're trying to figure out how they can get you with the i secretly want to get you pregnant like how can i just make this person mine because they're, they're not really trying to be mine like they really actually love you they really love you and they like to role play so um they like to play cops and robbers they like to dress up they like to show you things you know they like for you to show them things but this person truly do have feelings for you whether it's a crush whether it was a one night stand or whether it's somebody that you're de dealing with currently, right? But we're about to pull some tarot to gain some more messages for pile number two. So please give me some more messages for pile number two, Spirit. I ask for you to please give me some more messages for pile number two. Their next encounter, please. Pile number two. Yeah, but I'm definitely showing more of a loving. Like, this person is, like, crazy in love. Like, they might be a bit obsessive. Like, when they near you, they just, like, are obsessed with you. Like, why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. Lying that you're sexing me when everybody knows. Mariah Carey. It's clear that you're upset with me. So, that song came out for a reason. Maybe somebody want to listen to that song. All right. So you got the Knight of Wands. There you go, the Assessor's card. All right. So it looks as though, um, I'm reading this intuitively. So it looks as though the person might really just be obsessed with you. All right. So you got the Eight of Swords. And then you got the stars. Okay, so first, I just want to touch on the Eight of Swords. Look at this card closely, right? You see the little creature in the background. And then you see them two making love, right? So I'm showing that this person can either be watching you or this person is like so obsessed with you, right? That they... This person is so obsessed with you, like they feel stuck and bound, like they're just stuck and bound. It's like, it's like, 
they're so obsessed with you that they got some chaotic behaviors or chaotic situations going on in their everyday life but it's like you trump everything that they got going on it's like this to me is representing their life and like how focused they are on you how folk in every card this person is focused on the other person how focused they are on you how focused they are on you how focused they are on you right um so this person is definitely like this person i'm definitely showing that this person is a one man or one woman person it's like they don't really care to have multiple people when you guys um you know they don't really care to have multiple people and even though the knight of wands can be like the f boy f girl card i'm showing that this person is truly like just so obsessed with having you it's like i'm not saying that this person isn't like a f boy or f girl in their life they could possibly be like that with other people but when it comes to you it's like they really want a strong connection with you it's like these people aren't even naked it's like this person might like to be held like to be hugged like to cuddle a lot it's like they like to have your essence around them that's why i'm showing heavily as well it's like this person um we got role play right so the tables have turned like they want to have you be like the eve to their garden like this person want to go all night long with you under the stars okay they might like the beach they might like to be in like um the forest where you guys can see the stars they like to be in nature or whatever as well with the tree and the um vines being here they also like the beard from I'm just showing that this with this energy someone is watching someone is watching right so um someone is watching you guys so i don't know i'm not really getting a third party but i'm showing that someone is being watched so someone even is watching you guys in this connection or if this is the crush this crush is watching you heavily and you possibly could be with someone else um and they just really fantasize about being with you or whatever um yeah but this person want to do all types of things with you maybe they have a fantasy about having sex in the woods or in the forest or at the beach under the stars or maybe they have a fantasy about people watching them having sex as well but this person definitely secretly want to get you pregnant like this person got a whole loving energy like they're hypnotized they're hypnotized like they really are intrigued with you so your next sexual encounter you might have someone that's really into you that want more with you if you guys aren't already in a relationship with this person it just looks as though that they want something um strong with you because they you're definitely the person on their mind they can't stop thinking about you every time they close their eyes they envision you they see you they're trying to believe what they feel they're trying to make sure that what they're feeling is real as well you know just be careful because this person could be a little bit stuck in their own energy as well if this is resonating more to you um this person can definitely be stuck in their own energy but because they're so obsessed with you maybe their uh, their world is a little chaotic because it's like you are on their mind but they do have faith that you guys are going to come together and they're going to have a chance with you but be careful because they definitely are plotting on getting you pregnant or getting pregnant by you so don't be allowing that alluring look to get to you unless you want to get you know have a baby <laughs> real talk all right but that's for uh pile number two so i'm going to pull some letters to see if it spell anything or to see if we get some initials and yeah all right so this might be a little loud so you might want to turn the volume down Can you give me some letters for power number two? Okay. So. Alright. I'm not really spelling anything. I mean, dick, dog. 
jug die <laughs> but we got u d we got all right so <clears throat> we got u d e g i and j okay so this person can have these initials or you can have these initials in your name but i don't necessarily mean that you know it's particular to these initials okay so that was just some letters that i pulled guys all right so that was for pile number two so if that resonated please make sure you like share and subscribe thank you on to pile number three those who chose the soda light ring it's a dual soda light ring with silver copper this is going to be your message pile number three Y'all got some freaks, yo. I'm hearing <laughs> that song, You and Me, Baby, Ain't Nothing But Mammal. So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> That's like a um, a, either a late 90s or early 2000s song. I forgot who sung that too. Like, You and Me, Baby, Ain't Nothing But Mammal. So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel right <laughs> all right so you got more of a lover this is the wild card so that says a free spirit soul i don't see gender only love i have a few stories under my boxing glove oh and then you got nature calls i like to collect things oh i like to collect your things let's be clear I am watching you. Caution, this person is playing games. Release. And let's make love all night. All right, so I'm showing for pile number three. Your next sexual encounter is definitely going to be someone that is into, maybe they like, uh, they might be bisexual. Your next sexual encounter person, there's a possibility that because they are a free spirit, um, and they say they don't only they don't see gender only love. They have a few stories under their boxing glove. So they might be bisexual and they might just be in a phase right now where they either feeling a man or a woman and they I was about to say and they want to be with one person, but it just they might want to explore you, right? That's what I'm really feeling more so than anything. So this person might want to explore you. They might want to um See what it is to be with you, right? So it's a possibility that you don't even know this person. It's a possibility that this person could just have a crush on you. They might just be watching you from afar. Um, they might be in like fantasizing what it is to be with you. Um, like this person, when nature calls, it's like this person definitely is a person that likes to be outdoors with their encounters. It's like they get off on being outdoors, whether it's any place it don't matter it's like i'm getting that we can do it anywhere vibe by 112 we can be anywhere but i want to be out in nature um this person is definitely more of a lover though this person your next sexual encounter will be more of a lover this person love to love um they could possibly be a, a water sign but they could be any sign as well but i'm showing that this person loves to love they want to um ain't that they want to um, basically be in love. They they want to be in a loving relationship. Um, but it could be a possibility that this person is also playing games as well. Like, um, or could play games with you, right? Because I'm not getting that you know this person. For pile number three, I'm not really getting the vibe that you know who this person is. I'm just more so getting a vibe that this person might be someone that's watching you, that might have a crush on you, that... You know, um, whenever you do give them a chance, they might not even be real vocal about being in a, um, they might not even be vocal about this, um, bisexual nature that they live in, but this person would like to collect your things. Like I'm showing that maybe like, cause they might be bisexual, so they might like your things. So they might like play off like, oh, I really like your stuff. 
um or whatever but then it might be like a um oh yeah i do like your stuff but um you know can i just take it with me because i want to have something that i'll remind that remind me of you or whatever and then they might be actually wearing your stuff you know what i'm saying but they like to collect things it's like a member bill there for the excuse me a, a member bill yeah for them so they could have a, a shrine of things that they collected from people over the years as well but this person is watching you right so they might be watching you on social media if you're in the social media realm the limelight but this person always have visions of basically making love to you all night long they just want to explore you all night long you got the release here so for a small few it could be a possibility that you may have dealt with this person but they were playing games so you released them as well but i'm not really showing that for the majority of the people that chose pile number three but for a small few i do show that maybe um this person was you know very free-spirited and they were so free-spirited that maybe they messed around on you with the opposite sex and you found out that they was playing games so you released them but um you was you, you was making love with them all night long you know it looks as though that you was like um hmm, it looks as though that you guys could have made love all night long so that card wanted to come out so with that card coming out it looks as though this is the knight of pentacles right so it looks as though this person could be a bit creepy like maybe they'll get you a little lit and really start taking your stuff but it's like this person got a lot of things that they are hot and this person is very this person is definitely hot and stuff if you look at the guy and how he's hot and behind the woman this person is definitely hot and stuff they only show you what they want to show you like it looks as though that this person your next sexual encounter just be cautious this person definitely have like alternative motives to get you so it's like i'm hearing by any means necessary we're gonna pull some more tarot cards for you by any means necessary this person is willing to get you okay it's like this person have two nights so this is the knight of cups as well earth and water sign so far so this person is literally trying to figure out how can they get you they don't know if they should write you a letter they don't know if they should do moon magic they don't know if they should do a petition they might be heavy into magic too or trying to manifest you um with the knight of pen with the knight of cups coming out they can either be into candle magic, moon magic, petition right in, I'm showing. But this person is trying to figure out what it is they can do to get you, how it is that they can get you. It's like, it's driving them crazy. So whenever they do have a chance to get you, they're going to do everything in their power to take you to the bedroom. So it could possibly be something that might be, I ain't going to say against your will, but it might not be something that you initially are looking forward to. I'll say that. Okay, one more card, please. So it could definitely be something that this person could be a little forceful with you when it comes to you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So then we got death. So endings to new beginnings or whatever. So this person also, you see the couple right here in the background and then the death. So this person can also try to step on you or, you know, um, can try to step on you. This person can try to, um, I'm not showing that this person has really good intentions because, you know, death ultimately is endings to new beginnings. But when we look at this death card, it's like, that's why I said this person definitely might be into some type of spirituality, some magic or whatever, because it looks like with this death card, it's like, it's only going to take time for, you know, this person that's going to come through and reveal themselves and maybe you could already be in another connection and they watching you with your current partner but i'm just definitely showing that this person is going to want to um try to either break you up from the current partner they're going to try to do something to get you or get your attention right but whoever this person is that you might have sex with next it's definitely going to be an energy that's not going to be the best for you this should have had a toxic card as far as that because let's look at all of these people they all look kind of creepy and scary right this guy he look creepy 
and scary like he is trying to subdue this woman the death look creepy and scary like they're trying to subdue this people and then this guy look creepy and scary like he's just so fed up he don't know what to do next right so the person that you might have your next encounter with is going to be someone that might not really have good energy i'm i'm feeling like their energy might be a bit like creepy they might have some type of creep vibes to them um and like i said it could definitely be somebody that you're not really expecting to have an encounter with it could be one of those things that just happened and you like dad did this person put a spell on me because i would have never you know what i'm saying like you probably never would have even thought about dealing with this person but this person definitely got like a uh a, a suspicious look to them like um a look for, like a look like you know they're out to get you so they definitely are watching you and they're definitely plotting to see how they can get you they say they more of a lover but they got toxic vibes so this person is someone possibly you may have released or this could be someone new as well that's currently watching you but they do play a lot of games and they might have a lot of souls that is in, like entangling with their energy. So every time they meet somebody new, it's like they might be a soul collector. Oh, that was deep. That was too deep. Deep enough to swim in. Meaning soul collector meaning a person that gets around and have a lot of bodies. <laughs> Collecting people's souls as they go. Dumping all their energy into wounds. You know, so this person definitely have like a hidden agenda when it comes to you. So really be cautious, okay? So we're going to pull some letters to see if we can get more information about the next encounter for you, power number three. And um, it might spell something or it might just be some letters, but it's about to be a little loud, okay? So one sec. Let me some letters for power number three. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to spell any letters, but you have L-U-H-Q-O-M-N-D and F, okay? So I spell no right there, okay? Loud and clear. <laughs> but, um... L U H Q M D F N O. So you can see if anybody's initials or your initials are in here. It don't necessarily have to be, but these were the letters that were pulled. All right, pile number three. So thank you for your time and your energy. That was your reading. So thank you, my loves, for tuning into the IC. Until next time, peace out.